Daniel, you are a talented soccer player. You really are. I've coached a lot of people, so I would know. Well, guys, you're gonna be mad at me. Every few months, I've gotta do something that I don't really wanna do, but if I don't do it, nobody else is gonna. I'm doing you a service, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I believe that I, August the Duck, have found... God, I can't even bring myself to say it. It's such a meme at this point for the people who watch my channel pretty regularly, or at least keep up with my opinion on the man himself, Dardar Binks, that I feel physical pain whenever I say this on my channel, but honestly, guys, I think it's here. Darman just dropped his worst video of the year so far. There. Okay, I said it. Can we all just appreciate for a moment that I'm not saying it's the worst one ever? Okay, there's a few that I don't think can ever really be topped at this point, but I do believe that the video we're gonna be watching today is Darman's worst video of this calendar year. I know it's only April, so he's got some time to get back in the kitchen, but uh, this one's a solid contender. Soccer coach turns criminals into star players. What happens next is shocking. Now, when I'm watching Darman videos, I'm usually looking for one of three things that will determine whether or not I decide to turn it into a video. The first one, and the most common, is the concept of the video, the idea, the story, whatever you want to call it, is so laughably bad that it's kind of hard to believe that a real human thought it up. The second is that the production of the video, the execution of the concept, is so poor that it's actually kind of offensive, coming from a channel with access to as many resources as Darman has. Or three, it is the most obvious attempt at pandering to the masses about an issue that Darman clearly does not have have too deep of an understanding about. The video we're going to be watching today is a perfect mix of all three. You'll see. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Excuse me? What time is it? Uh, it looks like it's... Give it to me! Ow! Give it to me! Ow! 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 He's oh. robbing the old lady? Yes. He is, and you are all standing there doing nothing. We are already running into production issues, not even 30 seconds into this video. Darman reuses these sets a lot, and I mean, that's fine, okay? I don't expect you to build a new set for every single video you make, but at this point, we're all pretty familiar with the space we're working with here, and this group of like seven able-bodied people is standing like 10 feet away from all of this, just pointing and saying, look at that happening right there. Y'all could help. Two of the people who are in this frame are people who have already been stolen from. Why are you guys Guys just standing around. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My name is Reggie Johnson, and I would like to report a. Bu Actually, I'll call you back. Yeah, sure. That's how that works. Coach Johnson. Hey. I heard you're no longer coaching the team. What? No. Who told you that? Someone said you were retiring. Uh, no, I'm glad to hear it's all true. <laughs> I'll see you at the tournament. Okay. All right, guys, so we're being introduced to the plot point that made me want to turn this into a video. The way that Darman and his team decided to write this video when it comes to talking about this big soccer tournament, which is like the main conflict of this video, it's like what everything is leading up to, is the funniest thing ever. The real ride or die fans are gonna remember a while back when I covered that video where at the end they had like some sort of art gallery thing going on, where it was supposed to be the most exclusive artists in the world coming together, and then they filmed this gala-style event in what was clearly an elementary school cafeteria. The way they've handled this soccer tournament is so much worse than that that it's kind of hard to put into words. Police! Freeze! Who stole this stuff? Um, officer, if you were wanting to get promoted to detective anytime soon, I think you may have a ways to go. Who stole all this stuff, he said, as he's looking at the people holding said stuff. Not much of a mystery there, Sherlock. Darman really never fails to just brute force every single plot point he wants in his videos because the only reason he's having the cops say this is so the main guy can own up to it so we start to feel bad for him. I feel like there had to be a cleaner way to do this. It was all of us. It was me. It was all me. No, Danny, not with your record. It's okay. I'll take it's this you. one. Come on, Gio! 
Cut down, Elijah! Okay, so I didn't notice this on my first viewing of this video, but now that I'm seeing it, it just makes so much sense. I want you guys to take a look at the coach's clipboard. You don't know this yet, but I do because I'm really cool. That's a flyer for the upcoming soccer tournament, and that's the only thing on the guy's clipboard. Why do you need a clipboard with a single flyer for the soccer tournament you know you're in during soccer practice? Normally, you would have a clipboard for, you know, plays, but no. This makes sense, Darman. How they looking? You think they'll be ready for Saturday? The tournament? Coach Johnson, I'm sorry, but did the director not tell you? Tell me what? Coach Johnson, I'm sorry. I wanted to call you earlier, but I got tied up. I'm afraid there is no easy way to say this. Andres is going to be taking over as head coach. What? You can't do that. Why? Look, you've had a good run team needs new blood someone that can really take them to the next level okay so i don't think i'll really be able to fully drive home until the end of the video just how utterly insane this interaction right here is but i need you guys to do me one favor and just really remember this sequence right here and really try and remember how this team and how this tournament is discussed you know phrases like taking them to the next level finding new blood i promise it'll be worth it my guys have been playing amazing, and I don't doubt this is the year we win. You said that last year, and the year before that. This is our year, I promise. And you've said that before, too. Look, I'm sorry, Coach Johnson, but the decision has been made. You're out. Do the boys know? I think it's best if Andres and I tell them. We don't want this to be an emotional thing, especially not before the big match. Yeah, yeah, big match, my ass. If you didn't want to mess up the big match, you wouldn't do this. This would never happen unless the coach, like, killed his wife or something, maybe. Then, okay, I could see letting him go at a time like this. But there's a reason you don't really hear about coaches getting fired in the middle of the season, generally. It's only going to make things worse. Looks like you guys need a real soccer ball and a coach. You're probably the one that called the cops on us. Don't act like you care. Yeah, man. Beat it. Or else... We're not gonna say it again. Okay, so I think this is just a poor line delivery by this guy, but the way he said it makes it seem like he just completely forgot to threaten this man. Like, normally, you'd say, beat it or else. But the way this guy said it made it seem like he's saying, beat it or else we're gonna say it again. Like, that's the threat. Maybe it was. I don't know. I'm confused. What if I give you guys snacks? All right, well, they were swayed pretty easily, but I won't be swayed into ever watching a Darman montage, so we're gonna skip on ahead. Nice! All right, I think we'll end with that. Great job, guys. You promised us snacks. Oh. <laughs> Should we, um... Uh... Meet again here tomorrow, same time? I'll bring food! I like how it appears that these guys are not questioning whatsoever why this random man wants to coach them in soccer. It's not even like he came to play soccer with them or anything, which would be understandable. He was like, hey guys, I'm gonna coach you on how to play soccer. And they were just like, okay, sure. That's not really a normal thing that happens, Darman. Hey, Dave. I just made the most amazing. Babe, what's wrong? Babe? Let me go. What? Are you kidding me? They gave Andres my spot. And the director's the one who came to me and told me when I got there. They didn't even have the decency to give me a heads up or let me say goodbye to the boys. I'm so sorry, honey. I, I can't believe they treated you this way. 
And after everything that you've done for that team? This is one of those moments where you should really be soaking up every word they're saying because it's only going to make the ending 10 times better for you. I know I'm hyping this up a lot, but just stick with me, okay? It'll all pay off. You know, I can't understand why they couldn't at least wait until the tournament was over. You know? Anyway, at least you are free this weekend. Actually, maybe not. The strangest thing happened to me on my way home today. I saw these street kids playing soccer, <clears throat> and they were surprisingly good. There was something about them. You know? I'm not here to step on toes. You probably have more soccer experience than I do. Not sure that I'd be too good at picking out talent, but um, they were kicking around a grocery bag in a circle. I feel like it's nearly impossible to really pick out talent from somebody doing that. Sure, you want to say you took them to the local parking lot and gave them a soccer ball to kick around in a circle, and that's where you saw the talent? I could believe that a little bit more, but I'm going to have to throw a flag on the play and say that you did not see anything today. You guys still got your bikes? Yeah, why? We'll go get them, because we're playing on a real field today to practice for a tournament tomorrow. Darman, do you always have to make these videos more unrealistic than a Hallmark movie? But this is one of those things you should be taking to heart, really remembering for the finale of this video. The fact that this tournament is tomorrow, apparently, and this team is going to be able to get entered into it. But why not say something like it's six months away? That way, it could be somewhat believable. You could maybe whip together a team in six months and get into a tournament. All you'd have to do is make a montage of them training, put up a card that says six months later, and for barely any more work than this video already was, you've got a much more believable story that I could actually maybe take seriously. Not really, but you get my point. You guys act as if this is the first thing you've eaten today. Is this the first time you've eaten today? I don't understand. Don't your families feed you? Reggie, your inability to read context clues is kind of shocking. Do you think the starving children that are living on the streets and stealing to get by have some sort of warm home waiting to welcome them? Do you think they're doing this for funsies? They enjoy being in this position? Come on. Can't you at least get jobs? It's a little hard to get a job when you have a criminal record. No one told you to go steal from people. It's either that or don't eat. What, what, what you guys deal? How did you end up in this situation? I'm sorry about that, I really am. But just because you're struggling doesn't mean that you could hurt people. There are better ways to make a living. Really? Like how? Do you think I haven't applied for jobs? No one will hire me. I have no high school diploma, no work experience. I don't even have any skills. Daniel, you are a talented soccer player. You really are. I've coached a lot of people, so I would know. If you gave it a chance and you focused, who knows how far you could go? Okay, so I understand that this is supposed to be like a heartfelt moment, a team bonding experience. I get what Darman was going for here. It's not too offensive. But telling a homeless teenager that he should try and focus on soccer as a career, and that's what he should pursue to turn his life around and make a living, is insane. Could it be something that he uses to get his mind right and stay out of trouble? Absolutely. But the jump from playing in whatever this tournament is supposed to be, to making it as a professional soccer player, is a pretty big one. Believe it or not, this is not known by many people, but it's pretty difficult to get into professional sports. There he is. Oh, shoot. What time is it? Three o'clock. Oh, did you really think you could just skip court? That's a big mistake. Come on. Get up. Turn around. Place your hands behind your back. All right, guys, surprisingly, we've seen many court slash jail sequences in these Darman videos, but I'm telling you right now, you're not ready for this one. Even if your criminal record is all petty crimes, missing court is a serious offense. You're an 
I promise you I didn't mean to miss court. I just lost track of time. That's not an excuse, young man. And I think the problem is that every time you're in here, all you get is a slap on the wrist. <laughs> it's clear to me that you will not turn your life around unless I give you a much harsher punishment. Therefore, I hereby sentence you to one month in jail. Dude, stop crying. If anything, all you've gotten is another slap on the wrist. I know that Darman does absolutely no research for these videos whatsoever, but stealing something like an iPhone 14 and a purse and all the other things they took is not a petty crime. An iPhone alone is over $1,000, so that's not going to be petty theft right off the bat. So you're already looking at a felony, and if you have a rap sheet like they say this guy has, the judge is probably not going to go easy on you. Your Honor. I beg you to reconsider. Uh, it's okay. And who might you be? Reggie Johnson. I'm working with Daniel as a soccer coach. Hey, Darman, quick question. Where the fuck is this courthouse? Do you guys see what's going on outside here? Are we in between astral planes? You couldn't be bothered to put a prop bag there or a fake wall? This courthouse is just located in the void? All right, cool. And I believe he's on the verge of turning his life around. And what makes you think this time is any different than the last dozen times he's been in here? I work with a lot of young people. And I can't explain how I know, but I know. Oh wow, Reggie, you make a really compelling argument. Your Honor, you don't understand. This guy is cracked out of his mind when it comes to soccer. Trust me, you didn't see the way this kid kicked around a plastic bag. He's about to turn his life around. We have a tournament this Saturday. And I'm asking you to allow Daniel to participate. It would not only mean the world to me, but also to his teammates. We can't win without him. He's the star. You should have gotten here sooner. He's already been sentenced to one month. It's too late to change it now. Your Honor, could we please delay the sentencing until Monday? I promise you. I will personally see that he shows up. You have my word, Your Honor. This tournament could be the turning point that he needs. Your Honor, please, you don't understand. You need to forego every single precedent ever set by the legal system, ever, because this kid needs to play in a fake soccer tournament tomorrow in the park. My livelihood depends on this. Like, I want to give Darman the benefit of the doubt and say that he doesn't believe that anything in real life would ever go the way it does in his videos, but the way he talks about these videos and the way he seems to think that they're actually changing lives and telling these, like, really, really important stories, I feel like he might think something like this could actually happen. This is highly irregular, Coach Johnson. But I see your conviction. He can play in the tournament. But the moment that tournament is over, he starts his jail sentence. Okay. Be there to make sure of it. <laughs> oh, you did this for me. Look, you're welcome. Now I need you to do something for me. Let's get out of here. Guys, it's time. It's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. I hope you're ready. Yeah! <laughs> Come on! Looks like whoever's going to next wins. Where'd you find these guys? The streets. The streets. Oh, Coach Johnson, I thought you were the coach of the red team. Not anymore. I was replaced. About that. I was wondering if you might consider coming back. What? No. Uh, thanks for the offer, but uh, I have a new team. And I couldn't be more proud. And there it is. Now you might be thinking, August, what the hell was that? Why did you make me wait around for that? But just give me a moment here, okay? Allow me to explain. There's a lot to unpack here. So what we just witnessed appears to be a six-on-six -six soccer game in a local park where the goals are separated by about 50 feet. There's maybe five spectators in the audience and not a single other team to be seen. This is not a soccer tournament. This is not anything, really. This is 12 guys who like to meet at the local park to play soccer again 
against each other, and occasionally some of their girlfriends or friends tag along. Darman, this is not a soccer tournament. Going back to the whole idea of the execution of the video being so poor that it's offensive, you build this whole story, this entire video around this soccer tournament, and this is what you give us? Let's just take a moment to think through the implications of this. So not only does this team who was assembled 24 hours before this tournament began being allowed to enter the tournament prove that this is not any sort of official event or sanctioned thing or anything like that, it also creates the question of who was this guy's original team playing against before he made this team? Like I said, this is clearly not an actual tournament, it's not a bracket style event, there's nobody else here, so who were these guys going to be playing against if this guy's new team didn't enter? Furthermore, like we've established, this is not a real sort of league or anything. It's six on six and the goals are 15 feet apart. And acknowledging this creates a pretty concerning yet also pretty comical conundrum. Either one, Darman thinks that an older guy who likes to go down to the park once a week and give some pointers to the guys who like to play soccer recreationally there is a paid position, or he thinks that his audience is so unbelievably stupid that he thinks that what he's presented in this video is enough to make whatever's going on here look like an official sanctioned soccer event where there would be paid coaches and professional players. My opinion of Darman is obviously not super high, but I'm going to go ahead and say that that first one is an impossible thing for anyone to think, so it's got to be the second option. Darman honestly thinks that he does not even have to bother hiring 11 actors for each side, doesn't need to separate the goals enough so that you can't see them both in one shot, doesn't need to name the teams anything but the red team and the blue team, and can just have a random character named the director, and that's enough to make this look like a real soccer league to his audience. Darman, I've watched a lot of your content, and I've got to say, I think this has got to be the most offensive thing you've ever uploaded. It would be an injustice to say that any effort went into this video. You genuinely did not even try. The icing on the cake, however, is that somehow through his performance in a soccer game that was formatted in the way that you would find games for five and six year olds in a church soccer league, the main soccer guy landed so many brand deals that he was able to rent a house for him and all of his friends to live in and give the coach a check for $10,000. Darman, you really always know how to outdo yourself, huh? Well guys, what do you think? Where does this video rank in the best of the worst? It's crazy to me because Darman seems to have somewhat decent ideas occasionally. I think this video could have been one of them. You could actually make this a somewhat realistic feel-good story where this guy is fired from his job and then finds this second purpose coaching these underprivileged kids and actually makes a genuine difference in their lives. But it can never just be that. It's got to be let's take a somewhat solid idea, make it as fantastical as possible. But here's the kicker. We're not going to put any effort into making it believable whatsoever. We'll put in the bare minimum in every aspect of production, make everything resolve itself in the last minute, and everybody's going to live happily ever after. Really goes to show how highly you think of your audience, Darman. Keep it up, buddy. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.